All right, all right, family. Black Power is the truth out. With General Sara soon said he kicked back, get your mind ready for some information that's guaranteed to be heavy. Ring the alarm. KingSetty.com, online marketplace. Official General Sara soon said he DVDs, t shirts, hoodies. We got all that for you. Fat, fat, classic. You see, African and comedic jewelry. For the kings and queens out there got, a, you know, tons of fly uh, African and comedic jewelry for the family. Holistic tonics and remedies. For, we got tonics for the brothers and the sisters. You see what I'm saying? You get you together. We got art and home decor for the family. Trying to transform the African home into the African temple that they always wanted. You can get over there and check us out right now. KingCity.com online marketplace. We got 15% off for the family out there. Go on over there, get you some. You yeah, feel me? Uh, ring the alarm. We dropping nuclear bombs on GeneralCity.com. You feel me? GeneralCity.com, SETI University. We got uh, over 800 uh, lect uh, lectures, videos on the site at this time i will be you know dropping some new uh material to complete ancient egyptian studies you know which we're gonna be uh, ancient egypt for revolutionaries ancient egypt for revolutionaries on generalcity.com we be dealing with the egyptian mystery system its global subordinate systems dynastic egypt nubia temple studies pyramidology the sacred deities and much, much more. You feel me? We got the two raw for YouTube also on GeneralSETI.com, SETI University. I know y'all been looking for, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? That creatures from the caucus, uh, uh, advanced studies, you know, rise of the Neanderthal. And so, you you know, we dropping nuclear bombs <laughs> on GeneralSETI.com. It ain't nothing but raw over there. When you want that raw, you got to go over there to GeneralSETI.com, SETI University. You feel me? Uh, tomorrow, my Patreon, and that's why I told you, that's the lecture hall. You know, when you want that exclusive information, you know, them exclusive lectures, you got to get on over there to my Patreon, General Sara Soon SETI. Tomorrow, you know, I'm, I'm just giving y'all a teaser tonight. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to give you a little teaser Something that you can, you know what I'm saying? You're going to want to, you're going to want to get on over there to the Patreon though and get that real work. The false teachings of the Madhu Nata. I see a lot of people out there still disgruntled, even to this very moment. They still disgruntled and anybody, anywhere, don't matter race, creed, or color, you can get your ass, you can let me know. I hope you, you got to be of a qualified status the you know and god damn it i'll lay you out nigga straight up it don't make no difference i'll put your ass on the gurney you understand they'll be running up out there with your ass trying to and you know they be rubbing them goddamn elected things they put on your motherfucking chest try to revive you you feel me you be up out of there you see what i'm saying tomorrow 7 30 p.m i'm gonna come with that work become a patron today you feel me? Unlock and, and unlock ton, tons of academic jewels for mental elevation. I just dropped on uh, Patreon from the hood to the holy land. The life story of General Seti. It's a three part series. You feel me? A three part series and you need, you know, to get on over there and get that work. You feel me? Uh, This uh July 10th, all the links is there. I got the key. I got to keep working, family. I got to keep putting this work in. You feel me? This is what I do. I'm a priest of the craft, and so this is what I do. I don't do nothing else. You feel me? This is what I do. And so the three wicked sons of Abraham, the Bible and Quran, decoded Sunday, July 10th, 2022. You understand what I'm saying? Hard body. You feel me? Hard body. You feel, and I, that's all I got to say. You can't go. You can see how I'm, 
you know, I'm warming up right now. You feel me? I'm I'm getting my momentum. I say it's time, you know, the for the general to just be, you know, just have hella momentum and hella consistency right now. You know what I'm saying? To wake the family up out to sleep. And so, you know, that most definitely I will not be holding no ball, you know, no, I, no, no bars hold, you know, no holes bar. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? No holes bar. God damn it. Anything goes on that day. You know what I'm saying? So you need to get your ticket. God damn it. And I guarantee you, you're going to thank yourself. You're going to say, God damn, I, that was the best thing that I ever did in my goddamn life was to show up on July 10th and get that work by the general. You feel me? And, and so, family, uh, today, and make sure you subscribe. I shouldn't have to tell you that. <laughs> I don't even know motherfucker. be, motherfucker, you ain't subscribed. What kind of shit is that? All this goddamn work, this astounding info fucking mation. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't subscribed. You out of pocket. You see what I'm saying? So make sure you subscribe. Hit rock that notification bell, rock it. You know what I'm saying? Even though they might not notify you, no way. <laughs> That's how they do the general. You feel me? You know, they say, oh, they, you know, they still trying to plug in with the information. They still, they want to, you can hit the motherfucker 15 goddamn time. You know what I'm saying? They still might not notify you. You know that I'm that, I, uh, that I'm, I'm live, you feel me? And so, uh, so, you know, make sure you, and, and make sure you, you, you give the video a thumbs up, like it, cause you love it. Now, it, let me make sure, you know, cause I know, I know a lot of people, you know, they swear by the old Matt Dunatter. They swear by it. Yes, they do. They swear by it. But I can't, you know, I can't get nobody, you know, you know, they feel this be so goddamn hurt. You feel me? I can't get a motherfucker to say nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know, they feel us be hurt because I go where no motherfucker will, will ever go. You see? Nah, let's deal with some things. Let's deal with some things. So y'all can understand, number one, what I mean. When we talk about institution. Now, Walter William talks about institution. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, and, you know, and, and, and he stated that ancient Egypt was the only civilization in the ancient world that was uh, institutionalized. I see people's out there saying the hieroglyphics is a Bantu language. I, I, listen here, man. And I want, and I want y'all to pay attention to me. You know what I'm saying? And so that y'all don't get caught up into, you know, and so you understand something, you know, and I, I, you know, and this is not because this is just a teaching moment. So the family out there, wait a minute, let me see if I can put it up there. I'm going to put it up there. And so he can understand me, uh, brother Ray. So you can understand me. And so you can get this information, huh? Let's, let's, let's understand something. We discussing, now this is a uh, old Wallace, this old Wallace Budge. You understand what I'm saying? He, he was a British Egyptologist. What we talking about is the symbols. Okay. We're not talking about an alphabetic script. And this is what we, we you know, what people's is failing to understand. It's not an alphabetic script. The symbols are a secret language only for the initiates. So it's not an alphabet. Okay, which we're going to, you know, and so I don't want the brother, I just want to put it out there. Now, is uh, the Bantu family a part of the legacy of ancient Egypt? Yes, it is. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. So on that note, brother, you, 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 de you there with that. I agree with you on that. You feel me? But when we talk about the hieroglyphs in which you're talking about the symbolism, it is a secret language. You feel me? 
that you cannot put alpha alphabets on a symbol. You got to be given the information. Okay, let me take the brother out. Let me take him on out of there. Because I don't, you know, I just wanted to put him just for a second. You know, just for a second, you know what I'm saying? To let him know, you know, uh, you know, that I I seen that. And a lot of people don't understand that. You see what I'm saying? So I ain't going to get, you know, I, I would have went into the stolen legacy, but I ain't going to, you can go in there and you can deal with that. You know what I'm saying? So you had to be initiated into the craft. You had to be initiated into the mystery system to get that information. You know what I'm saying? And what it meant to a second degree, because you're talking about 360 degrees. You understand what I'm saying? What it meant to a second degree but may very well be something different than what it meant to a, a first degree. What it meant to a 360 degree priest could mean something totally different than a priest that was or a, 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 a priest in training that was only 120 degrees. You see what I'm saying? And so that's very, very key that we understand. So you can't put no alphabetical language, African or no other, because it's not alphabetical, okay? Now let me step on into that right now so we can understand ourselves. And I'm gonna get back in the institution real quick. Now, I got some symbols right here, family. I got some symbols right here, okay? I got some symbols right here. This is, we 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 gonna be quick with this now. See, now I got uh I got uh nine symbols. You see, we got the first row at the top. Matter of fact, let me take that out just quickly. You see, you got the first row, you got the second row, uh, and you got the third row. Now let's go into the first row. You know, what does it mean? You see, what does it mean? And what the, the one at the top, anybody out there, throw it out there. Put it in there, you know, what you think that the uh, top, uh, yeah. See, so when you understand the symbols, there's a meaning behind the symbol now. You feel me? When you go take your driver's test, you feel me? And you know, you got, you. it's a, it's a, uh, a part of the test where you have to deal with the symbols of, of the road. You understand what I'm saying? They'll put different uh, symbols or uh, uh, signs or yield sign or this sign. And you got to understand the meaning of the symbol. You can't put a, a, a alphabetical meaning on a symbol. It's telling you something. You see what I'm saying? You know? And so the thing is, I have some symbols here, you know? I have, and you know, it's a, you know, you can find legends and legends and map keys and all type of legends all over the internet. You feel me? And so, you know, and, and, and you know, and, and, and unless you have the key to the symbols, you don't have the meaning according to the legend whence it was taken from. Now, you can put your own fucking well that no, motherfucker, you don't know what it means. You don't even know the fucking, uh, you know, you, you, you know, you can make it up. But unless you understand the legend, you don't know. And see, that's very, very key that you say that you because once you acknowledge that you don't know, then the education begins. You're open for education. OK, now. When you look at the first two, you see the triangle and it looked like, you know, it's a, a, a you know, a, a semi square in there. You know what I'm saying? You know, three, a three side with one side missing at the bottom. Then you see a square with a, a dot in the middle of it. According to this legend, what does it mean? Let's see. See, the one at the top, ration stores. You see, the one with the square in the, is a water point. It's a water point. You see, and so, you know, 
I can give you the legend, the key. It was, it's a military key, a military legend. You see what I'm saying? So you even got to know what subject and what field you dealing with. Okay. So when you come back up and you go to the, to the bottom, you know, triangle, damn near look like a circle with some almost look like a little bomb or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And then you got this like a, 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 a rectangle with a, a diagonal a line going through it. And, you know, and so we come over here and we see that the one with the triangle look like it got a little bomb in it. It's battle battalion field mess. Okay. Battalion field mess. Then the one at the bottom dug out covered shelter. Now, if nobody ever told you what the fuck that was, and you looked at this shit right here, you wouldn't have never thought of uh, no motherfucking dug out. If a motherfucker didn't tell you it was military, a motherfucker, you wouldn't know what the fuck it is. You see? So when you see some damn symbols, you see what I'm saying? When you see some symbols, you know, you can't just apply, you know? And so if you took the first one, and say, for instance, you seen some symbols and then you put an A on it and say, oh, well, I'm going to put the A on that one, the B on this one. How in the fuck is that going to render the meanings of what the fuck the legend means, you know, mean for the symbols to mean? How the, how the hell you going to get that? How you going to get ration stores from an alphabetical letter? You're not going to do, you're not able to do that. You see what I'm saying? So when you come to the top, we see this one right here and shit. It look like, you know, almost like the road and shit. You know, you could guess, you know, how they had the lines in the middles is curving. And then you see, uh, wait a minute, this one at the bottom look like the symbol of Ra circle with the dot in the middle, got a little tail on it and a triangle. What do it mean? Likely enemy route of March. Now, I just said it was a road, but, you know, that wasn't what it, it, it likely enemy route of march the one at the bottom the decoy flare and radar decoy nobody would have known that you see what i'm saying nobody would have known that and so you see uh and so you see the ones here you know what i'm saying you see the ones here look like a, a rectangle got four dots got a, a a triangle with a dot and then you got a circle with uh Four arrows, north, south. You would think north, south, east, and west. You see, but what is what it, what it is? It's a bouncing Betty mine. So that right there, I you know you could guess most. And a motherfucker would look at, it, oh man, that's that's the solar cross. No nah, nigga, that's something about to blow your motherfucking ass up real quick. You know what I'm? Oh, and you fooling yourself. Oh man, that's a that's that's raw. Yeah, nigga. It's raw, all right. You understand what I'm saying? And it's going to be the last time you motherfucking be walking on this planet when that raw come around, nigga. You see what I'm saying? Because it's a bouncing Betty mine. You see, then you got the uh, rec uh, triangle with the dot in the middle, observation post. You see uh, the uh, rectangle with the four dots, any tank minefield. You see? And so that's critical that you understand this was the legend, okay? This was the legend, and of course, it was a military legend. You see what I'm saying? Now, uh, I didn't do the other one. I didn't do the other one. I didn't break it down. And so that's just quickly to show y'all that you, when you talk, you cannot put an alphabet, like an A, an alphabetical letter on a fucking symbol and render the meaning you cannot do that and you can go over all fucking legends and i guarantee you if they got symbols they got a meaning next to it it don't have no goddamn uh no goddamn uh alphabetical letter you see what i'm saying that's gonna render the meaning now when we start talking about did the greeks uh did the Greeks study under the ancient Egyptians? And, you know, the answer that my research is proven 
that they did not, that they did not. Now, why would I say that? Now, of course, like I said, I understand George Jim James. You see what I'm saying? I, I understand Walter Williams. And, and Walter Williams said that George Jim James was wrong, that the Greeks did not study with the ancient Egyptians. I think Walter Williams went too far when he said that. I personally believe that he went too far because what George G.M. James stated that these people were fictional. You understand what I'm saying? In the beginning, he says that, you know, that, you know, the biography of these individual philosopher is extremely lacking, no proof that they ever live, that Aristotle is accredited with oh, so many books that it would take a college of professors, you understand what I'm saying, two, two or three lifetimes to create that many books in that many fields of research. So what he was doing is that he, from the jump, stated that they were fictional, but he also went through the, the, the so-called literature showing that, that these so-called philosophers supposedly went to school in Egypt. Many times people tell a fucking lie. You understand what I'm saying? And inside of the lie is the essence, just like the Bible. Inside of it is the essence. And so I, what I got out of this stolen legacy, which is a classic material, it is no doubt about it. You see what I'm saying? It is a classic material that cannot be done without. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, that is what I got out of it. You see what I'm saying? So it's not a problem for me to read Walter Williams and read Stolen legacy and apply both of them. You see what I'm saying to, you know what I'm saying to my, you know, my tool of arsenal, you know, of armaments. You see my tools of armament is not a problem for me. Now, the thing that separates Egypt, I don't give a fucking, you can run and get any nigga, any Indian, you can get them all on the fucking live feed right now. You see what I'm saying? And we can go over this quite easy. And when I say let's put forth the proof, there will be no proof to be put forth, period. Okay, so when we talk about institution, this is what I mean. Because I'm going to expound on Walter Williams. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, institution which, you know, which is clear, which I really didn't hear from the brother, but he still hit it on the head when, it, when he says it takes an alphabet to be able to have an institution where it takes more than, a, it's, a, it's a more defining uh, uh, subject than just an alphabet. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you what institution is. You know what I'm saying? Because, when you dealing with institution, you dealing with mass amounts of academic, uh, 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 you know, when you talk about literature, you're not just talking about a book because you can have an alphabet and your ass got one or two books or this, that, and no institution deals with mass amounts of literature mass amounts of students, mass amounts of teachers and professors, mass amounts of campuses that houses these professors and these students to be able to produce the, the, the mass amounts of literature that fills libraries. See, when you're talking about libraries, you're talking about mass amounts of literature. You see, and so when you talking about that, there are more. Now, this is old. 
This needs to be updated where it says there are more than uh, 76 million schools enrolled in, in U.S. schools, uh, 76 million students enrolled in U.S. schools. More than 76. So right there, you're dealing with mass amounts. You see what I'm saying? You got a mass amount of students. You see? So when you're talking about Egypt, Egypt is the first modern nation with the, the institutions and national departments of government that you see in a modern nation. Okay? That's what separates Egypt from any other nation. You see what I'm saying? So when you go into Egypt and you see you got temples, you got thousands of temples. And on them temples, you got thousands of uh, uh, man, you know, you got uh, carvings of all type of uh, 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 scrolls and shit that's carved in the stone. You know what I'm saying? So you, it's almost anything and everything in Egypt has, you know, you can go in some temples and just there's just glyphs from the top to the bottom. You see, ain't no one scribe doing that. Okay. And they don't just pick up and just go to the next temple. So you got, you got hundreds of thousands of scribes from Egypt all the way down to Nubia. You understand what I'm saying? There's cutting stone, there's building temples and you got, and then they carve in the, in the, the, the Medunetta inside of the temples, the pyramids, the temples, the master bars, whatever it is. Then you got a whole college of, of masons that just do statues. You see what I'm saying? They, they, you know, they are proficient in carving statues. Then you got some, you got, you got Masonic scribes. You got papyrus scribes. You have Masonic scribes. A papyrus scribe, he's good with the, with the stylus, with the pen. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, He's, you know, you, so you got a whole colleges of, of, of scribes and shit that's proficient in papyrus. Then you got hundreds, you know, you got tens of thousands of Masonic scribes that are proficient in going on that stone. You see what I'm saying? And you look at some of the glyphs that are on this. And I mean, it's like it's laser cut. You see what I'm saying? It's like it's laser cut. You feel me? And then you, you got certain temples like Menahat Habu, where you, you know, that's Ramesses, I believe the third, you know, where he, you know, his, the Masonic scribes cut the, the glyph so deep in the stone that you can almost stick half your fingers into how the, you know, this, the, the glyphs, that's how deep that they cut. You feel me? That's how deep that they cut. So do you know how proficient you got to be? And so what I'm saying, you and so you got tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of different, you know, uh, professions that were taught in ancient Egypt. So when you're talking about even, you can see the astronomers, the scientists. And so Egypt is the first that you don't have to guess. You don't have to guess. You see what I'm saying? Just like today, if you, when you want to become an architect on such, you got to have universities. You see what I'm saying? You got to have universities to be able to do and to do it for 3000 years. You see what I'm saying? For 3000 years, your, your educational system is producing students that will later become teachers and teachers that will teach more students. You see, and so let's get back here so we can see. And so you see 60, 76 million students. That was in 2018. It's more than that now. I seen it. I just, you know, and so, okay, now that you got students, you got to have teachers. So you got, this was just in 2016. This wrong. I mean, it's not wrong. It's been, it needs to be updated. But just to show you this good enough, that you got 1.5 million faculty uh, in degree graduating post-secondary institutions. Okay. So that's just, that's, that's college material. So you got 1.5 million college professors, 53% were full-time and 47 
were part-time, faculty included professors, associate professors, assistant professors, uh, instructors, lecturers, assistant, uh, assisting professors, adjunct professors, and intern professors. Okay? And so you got the students and you got mass amounts. You see what I'm saying? How do you know you got that? Just, and we'll deal with that. And just like I say, when you go and you see how many temples, how many giant statues, how many of the temples got carvings, you got thousands. You see what I'm saying? And so in order to have and be able to build, they, I mean, you, you, you have a guess that it was something like 20,000, uh, 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 you know, Mas uh, Masonic uh, uh, workers that built the, the uh, Great Pyramid of Khufu. Okay, but that same 20,000 didn't, you know, they were building other temples at the same time that they were building the Great Pyramid of Khufu. So just, you got 20,000 here, and you shit, you, you probably got five on this grand temple, you probably got another 10 up the, you know, up the river on another temple. And so, you, you know, if you, you, you are talking about having hundreds of thousands of, of, of skilled professions in ancient Egypt that could be documented without no doubt. You see, you cannot do that shit with no Sumeria. You cannot do that shit with no uh, Greece. You see what I'm saying? You cannot do that with Greece. Okay. You cannot do that with Greece. And even with Rome, you do not have literature. You understand what I'm saying? That, that has survived on the level of ancient Egypt at all, at no time, from the old kingdom to the middle kingdom to uh, the new kingdom. Okay? Now, we dealt with students. We dealt with uh, the, uh, the faculty. And so when you look at Colleges and universities. We looking at how many, you know, you, you now this is a, like I said, these is early, early dates. 2017, 2016. It don't make no difference. I'll update them, but this is good enough to prove the point. Harvard, you got, I mean, total enrollment in 2017, you had 22, uh, almost 23,000. Stanford, you had almost 17,000. Uh, Massachusetts, Institute of Technology, you had almost 12,000. Duke University, you had 15,000. University of California, you had almost 45,000. Uh, University of Southern California, you had 44,000. Yale, you had 12,000. Columbia University, you had 32,000. Texas A&M uh, AN, uh, University, you had almost 60, 67,000. New York University, 51,000. Penn State University, uh, almost 99,000 students. Vanderbilt University. So this is what I'm talking about with institutions. You see what I'm saying? You know, institutions, you have mass numbers. You know what I'm saying? You have mass numbers. So when you start talking about the level of, of, of sc scrolls that were found in ancient Egypt. They didn't find millions of scrolls, family. Millions, millions. Some are bigger than others, but they have found millions of scrolls in ancient Egypt, okay? And so North Carolina uh, A&T State University, you know, almost 12,000. A Texas Southern University student population. Now, when you got, now, the thing is, the thing is, you got mass amounts. So you're dealing with mass. You got mass amounts of students. You got mass amounts of faculty, professors to teach the students. You have mass numbers of campuses, college, universities, just, those are the temples of ancient Egypt. Some smaller than others, just like this. You know, you got some that's damn near 100,000 or uh, more than that on the campus. You see some is down to about 10,000. You know, so there's a different, but you have campuses all over that are teaching uh, students. And so, you know, ancient Egypt was that way. 
And so now what happens is you got mass amounts of students. You got mass amounts of faculty teaching the students. You got mass amounts of, of, of campuses where these professors are teaching these students. You have mass numbers of subjects. You see what I'm saying? So when you go get, you know, your classes and shit, you can go in. I don't know what they call it. The class, you know, catalog. And you will see all the different subjects and shit that's being taught in that college, in that university. You ain't got one class. You know what I'm saying? You could probably have, I don't know how many hundreds of different classes, different subjects in the college catalog. You feel me? This is what I'm talking about in ancient Egypt. Not guessing because you got the proof of, you know, you know, in, in the form of not just temples, but um, documents and so on and so forth. You got medical documents coming up out of ancient Egypt. You see what I'm saying? You got astronomical. You can go into Dendera. You can see uh, the constellations and Dendera, which means that there is no doubt that they had done research in astronomy. There's no doubt about it. And that, that wasn't the only one. You see what I'm saying? There was other evidence all over the walls to show that they were dealing with the, the science of astronomy, of geography, of geology, because they were digging down, getting all the different minerals and precious stones up out the ground. So that right there shows they was dealing in, in, in uh, 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 geology. And then when you're dealing with geology and you're going up under that, that earth, you got to have certain type of tools and shit because you're going to come to a point where shit, them, them, that stone got different, you know, hard, you know, some are harder than others. And so you got to have the right type of tools to cut down into that earth. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, and so this, and this is what, and so when we start talking about even uh the library, you see, I'm going to deal with this. The ultimate evidence of institutions is the great libraries of the world. The library proves the, univer the university. You understand what I'm saying? Because when you go to a library, you're going to have books on all different kind of subjects. You see what I'm saying? And so you go in there, that means that there has to be a university system that's teaching these subjects for you to be able to go into a library and find all these different books on science, on math, on even language. And you know what I'm saying? You can go in there and dumb, you can learn how to build and, and fix cars and shit. They got different, you can go in there and get the different manuals for the different cars and shit, you know, and people working on cars and they might have a particular car and, well, you know, you need the uh, manual so you can go in there and look up some shit so you can fix it. They got all of that. You see what I'm saying? So the library proves the university. The university proves the library. The great li library proves that there are masses of literate people in the society on all subjects. So that's very key because what they try to say is that the 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 populace of Egypt were illiterate? Were they illiterate ass for somebody to even teach some dumb shit like that? You see what I'm saying? And so I guess they they th because they want they don't want the world to know how educated our people was. You know what I'm saying? So they will lie and say anything, and, and so you think they're gonna write on all these goddamn temples for two niggas to read it? You understand what if it could be read? You know what I'm saying? You think they writing all over for two people? You see, you see what I'm saying? So that's ridiculous. Okay. To say uh the Hebrews, Greeks, Romans, and Arabs had ancient universities without showing uh the ancient libraries. You understand what I'm saying? So you know, you hear about this that the Hebrews and the Greeks and the Romans and the Arabs, but they don't have the that they don't have the library. They don't have the material. Just like, you know, the, uh, the Egyptians got, you know, millions of scrolls. And man, listen here. I got to do this one to show people the major museums 
in the world with Egyptian collection. And man, listen here. I'm just going to be real. It's like when you leave out of one, I'm talking about the top ones. It'll blow your fucking mind how you can go to another one and how extensive that fucking museum is. Like when you get at the top and you deal with, you could deal with the British museum, which got over, listen, people don't understand that you can look it up. The British Museum got close to 30 million artifacts from ancient Egypt. No, it was not a mistake what I said. 30 million artifacts. When you watch Indiana Jones with Harrison Ford, and they always go in that motherfucking, you know how they go in that big ass warehouse, and they just got boxes and boxes and you couldn't even see the end of that shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know that that shit is real. When you look it up and you go to the British Museum, do you know if you look it up, they'll tell you that they, all that you see in the British, all that you can see when you go in the museum, on the floors, the showcases, that is only what they say, like 2 or 3% of their holdings. You understand what I'm saying? They got a 97% other holdings that is not being shown. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, and so that's the British Museum. And then I looked at, man, if you go study the one in Italy, cause when I was uh, reading that book, uh, The Rape of the Nile by uh, Brian Fagan, you see what I'm saying? He talks about that motherfucker that come out of I Italy, Belzoni. His name was Belzoni. Say he was the top pillager coming out of Italy. He was the top pillager uh, in ancient Egyptian artifacts. He was the top pillager. And you know, out of all the pillagers, he was the top coming out. And so I happened to go in, I say, and I went and looked at, you know, just, you know, and I hadn't really sh looked at it, you know, I, but I went and looked at the Italian Museum of Antiquities and looked at what they have from ancient Egypt. And a lot of the shit, I had seen it before, but in my mind, I'm assuming that it was at the British Museum and shit. And a lot of it was out of that Italian Museum, not the Vatican, because the Vatican got some shit, too. You understand what I'm saying? They got some shit. They, they got a lot of shit too. So Italy got a lot of heavy museums. The French got a lot of heavy museums. And man, they even got a motherfucking museum in Vienna. You understand what I'm saying? Where I, I, I read the shit that this motherfucker, Mohammed Saeed Pasha, Look, his name is Muhammad Saeed Pasha. He ruled around 1850. I know he, he ends up giving the ruler of Vienna. You understand? In Europe, the whole fucking, at that time, in 1855, it's not the modern Cairo Egyptian mu Museum. It was the museum before the one you see in Egypt today. Okay. It's the, it was considered the Egyptian museum before the modern museum that you see in Egypt today. This motherfucker, Mohammed Saeed Pasha gives the whole fucking Egyptian museum to the ruler of Vienna. Okay. And it's still there. All the collection that he gave this motherfucker is still there. And I, I'll show y'all that in a later video. It's, it, you know, I don't even know how to pronounce the fucking museum, but I'll give you all the information. And they still got every fucking mummy. They got columns out of temples. They got a lot of shit over there. And this motherfucker, and that right there proof that, you know, the Arab that had no uh, uh, her racial uh, heritage, in ancient Egypt, 
Because if he did, if he looked at the ancient Egypt as being the heritage of his forefathers and foremothers, he would not have done that. You see what I'm saying? To get a whole damn library to this motherfucking Cro-Magnum Neanderthal. Okay, he's a Cro-Magnum Neanderthal himself. He's just a dusty Cro-Magnum Neanderthal. And so now when we talking about, we're, okay, and so we deal with multitudes of students, teachers, and university Institution, in which I spell, is mass public education. Now, this is very key. You will never find one book in an institutionalized nation. And I want to bring that up to y'all so y'all understand what, you know, this. You see how motherfuckers, they, they all, you know, they come with this one book. We found a, a book. We found a book. You're not going to educate no motherfucking nation with no one book. You have to have mass production of manuscripts. You see what I'm saying? So just like when the students have, uh, during Black History Month, I bring this up all the time. I used to work in the library and they would have to do a book report. A lot of them, Malcolm X, the autobiography of Malcolm X, it was like one of those books that everybody had to do. You know what I'm saying? So you literally had to have them there. Right around that time, I seen the librarians they would just order tons of them. You know what I'm saying? They would have about a whole, one whole and going two shelves of Malcolm X. And they still would check out. You see what I'm saying? So when you in a, a you, you will never have one book in an institutionalized nation. You see what I'm saying? Because you are teaching masses. So either, either you got, either you got, a printing press or you got multitudes of scribes not one scribe now you can have a scribe now somebody can come and get an education and he might make one book but 99.9 percent .9 of the other population will never see that book so that's not institution just because one motherfucker scribe a book you understand what i'm saying because once that motherfucker gone Everything is gone. You see what I'm saying? And so that's where, so when motherfuckers, we found a book. I don't give a fuck what you find. You ain't going, you ain't going to have to search for institution because you're going to have, like when you go to Egypt, just writing everywhere on every little statue, on every big statue, on every temple. And if it ain't in stone, it's on paper. If it ain't on paper, it's on a coffin. It don't make no difference what it is. They wrote on everything. That's institutional. That's an institutionalized nation. The Hebrews, the Greeks were not institutionalized. They have no literature. When you, when you look at the temples that's in Egypt and you look at the, it's, at, it's from that date. It's not, we, you know, we got, it's from that day. So you got literature from for 3,000 years consistent from, a, you know, those particular dates. You understand? You got literature from the old kingdom, such as the pyramid text. You got carvings on all the, you know, the temples, the master bars. You can go into some, if you go to Saqqara, you got master bars, congemony, and, and you know, the uh, you Pataho Tep. You see what I'm saying? So you got writings on it. So each master bar, each temple, each pyramid is a book, an encyclopedia. You understand what I'm saying? Of different subjects, science and spirituality, astronomy, medicine. You see what I'm saying? And so that's the, you know, so, and, and so that's the, you, so you'll never find one book. Or one, you know, in an institution, it's going to be multitudes and mass production. And so in a ancient Egypt, though they didn't have the, the printing press, what they did have was institution. They had mass numbers of teachers. They invented. So it's not just the alphabet. It's not just the alphabet. You got to have more than the alphabet. You understand what I'm saying? You got to have the alphabet. Then you have to construct words, okay? 
You have to construct words with that alphabet. Okay. And so once you, which going to give you a dictionary and then you got encyclopedias. You see what I'm saying? You have textbooks. You see what I'm saying? That specialize in the different subjects. You know, the dictionary will define a word, but the encyclopedia goes in depth into a word. You see what I'm saying? You say uh, chemistry is say chemistry is the, you know, the different elements of the, you know, the earth and, and so on in and the universe. But a chemistry encyclopedia or textbooks will go in there and show you the formulas and how to create and, and experiments and so on and so forth, which is separate from the dictionary. So in an in institutionalized nation, you got to have an alphabet. You have to have a rule, a grammatical rule system. You understand what I'm saying? So you can have words, but motherfuckers don't uh, say whatever the fuck they want to say. So you got to have a grammatical rule book, and then you have to have a dictionary. Then you got to have encyclopedias and textbooks. You got to have all of that. If you're going to be in an institutionalized nation, that's why when you start in school, you start with the alphabet. You motherfucker, you start with the alphabet. And then you graduate to words. You see what I'm saying? You just spend, and you don't start with the, then you go to definitions. You don't start with the, you, you, you go with the word, you spell the word. When you get back about in second grade and third, you start with the word. Then you go into definitions. You see what I'm saying? Then you go into definitions. So that's how you do that. You see what I'm saying? That's just how, and so it, it's in ancient Egypt where you had, you know, you got the, you know, you, the cursive and then you had the regular script. Then you had the cursive. So it was in ancient Egypt that that began. So I just wanted, so you can, cause I'm trying to show y'all, this is how the system that you see today, when you go to school, it come out of ancient Egypt. So it's not hard to prove if a people got institution. You understand what I'm saying? Institution is all powerful. When you go down to some of these libraries, which I'm going I'm to show y'all, in which I stated, you, you cannot educate masses of students with one book. So, so when you talk about one books, uh, uh, cultures, where we got the oldest Bible, motherfucker was in mass produced. Well, then how do you know if any population in the ancient world even knew of a Jesus? If it's if if all that shit is in a book, one book, how do you know it is impossible to have mass awareness with one book? Two books. Motherfucking raggedy book, motherfucking pages mix. How the fuck is you and so that's key. You ask them motherfucker when they say, "Oh, we got a book." Ask them, "Was it mass produced?" Was it mass produced? If it, if it was mass produced at a particular time, then you, you're going to find more than one book. You see, when you go to ancient Egypt and you look at Osiris, even though it may variate just a little bit, it's standardized. You, any scroll, you see Osiris. You see him sitting on the throne. You see him as the judge. You see him in the hall of my eye. You see the scale there. You see Anubis. You see my, sometimes you don't see my, you see my yacht standing there. Sometimes, sometimes you don't see my standing there. Sometimes you see my and Neb bet Neb hat there. You see what I'm saying? She might be standing with Neb hat. You understand what I'm saying? You might see a uh, Anubis. You see what I'm saying? And, and you know, and so, it, you know, it might variate a little bit, but there's a standardized. So when you, when you go to the South, it's the same way you go to the north it's the same way you go into nubia it might vary a different you know what i'm saying it might not be Osiris. it might be Mendel Luis that's there you might see Osiris because the gods but you know it's the same you know it's the same my uh uh hall of my you know but it's standardized so you know that the people been and so you, when you know that it's been standardized, then that's like a, a school board. 
You know what I'm saying? Where they say, this is how we going to teach it. You see what I'm saying? You got a school, de- you got a, a department of, of education where they standardize the teachings, man. Ain't no other ancient culture. So if the Greeks had went and, ed- and was in Egypt, then they would have institution. They did not have no books. You cannot find no books coming out of Greece. So if you mouthing that the Greeks studied in ancient Egypt, then you it's just like motherfuckers come over to America from other countries and they come to get educated. When they if they come to become a doctor, when they leave America and go back home, they know how to do the shit that they was taught to do. And they do it at home. Sometimes they might stay here. So they proficient in what the shit that they was taught. They could do surgery. You know what I'm saying? And all this kind of shit. So if they had been educated in Egypt, you understand what I'm saying? Then they would have went back and they would have taught multitudes of scribes and they might not have been as great as Egypt, but at least you would have known that they were proficient, that they had literature coming out of the, the times in which they supposedly existed. Air stop, and it would have been mass production. If they had institution, then we would at least expect it that the Greeks would have been mad. The Aristotles, the Plato, the Socrates, the Thales, and all of this shit, the Pythagoras, that they all they literature would have been mass produced in forms of su- uh, uh, textbooks for the Greek students to be educated in. And they themselves would have wrote literature. And so it is no doubt an institution is so overwhelming that is no way for you not to, you know, understand what institution is. If you look at all these libraries, if this shit fall down, you know, it's going to be, you know, thousands and thousands of books that will survive. Okay. It's going to be some books that survive, man. And it ain't going to be a couple of them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, in a society like this, now, now this, this type of environment may not preserve it. You know what I'm saying? The same as ancient Egypt. That's what's critical. You know what I'm saying? Because they was in the sand and a lot of that material and they carved it in stone, but there's still some things that will survive for a period of time. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what I mean. And so there's no way you could say that the Greeks had any type of institution. You know what I'm saying? Now the Romans have, you know, some, some buildings and this, that, and the third, but they themselves don't have literature on. I don't, I don't know of any that's worthy to be called, you know, some great day. You know, you might see some here or there, this, that, and the third, but, for the most part, they themselves was on the same level as of the Greeks and the Romans. They had they had no proficiency in academics. That as far as I now they could build now that I can, but don't don't get it twisted because a lot of Africans had been transported to these areas. Okay, so we know you know, uh, you know. We know that the, you know, the Africans was they, they teach us. Okay. One book is too easy to be destroyed. So if you got one goddamn book and motherfucking some shit happen, it's a wrap on that. Okay. And without reliable duplicates and without reliable duplicates, the information is lost forever. And so that's why you have to have mass production of literature. Without the original print and reliable duplicates, I spelled that wrong, don't worry about it, you cannot prove the validity. Listen to me again. Now, this is from the general. Without the original print and, re- and reliable duplicates, you cannot prove the validity. Motherfucker come with one fucking book. You, it's too easy to, to make up one book. It's too easy to fake or, or, you know, they got sh- whole colleges where they know how to 
You make fake shit and put all type of shit on it to make it look old and shit. You know what I'm saying? They got whole colleges for with that shit. Without the uh, the original Bible, when without the original, the Bible is a modern day construct of propaganda. Okay, the Bi the Bible says God wrote the Ten Commandments and nothing else. If you have one book, it's because you lack institution if you got one book is because you lack institution and it's like i said the bible says god wrote the t ten commandments and nothing else so that means that men wrote the, the rest of the shit you see what i'm saying so you know and so you know and so you you don't know when that shit was wrote you know what I'm saying? You say God wrote the ten. Well, who, 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 and if you don't have the originals, it could very well have been wrote yesterday. You, if you don't have the original, the original, and mass multitudes of duplicates, that's you know standardized. So you, if one go away, you you got other duplicates from that time that are verified. You see, this is a duplicate. Okay, now let's look at library. You see, let's look at library. Look at this shit. We gonna prove the, the institution. See, do you, it, it's impossible not to, you know, be able to prove institution. It's impossible. Washington, D.C. Library of Congress, number of books, 30 million fucking books, okay? If this motherfucker falls down, you don't think you can find at least 500,000 out of that shit. 30 million fucking books. You mean to tell me you won't be able to find 50,000? You understand what I'm saying? Out of 30 million? God damn. Moscow Institute of Scientific Information, Russian Academy of Sciences. 13.5 million books. Beijing's National Library of China. 26.3 million books. London's British Library, 150, well, it says, okay, yeah, that's right. Number of books, 150 million books. God damn. God damn. That's a lot of motherfucking books, man. London's British Library, 150 million fucking books. You mean to tell me if some shit fall down, you won't be able to find a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. See, this is, this is institution. You see what I'm saying? And you find millions of scrolls and millions, I mean, millions of scrolls, thousands of temples with, if you, if you took the, the carvings off the walls and put them on the book, those is books and stone. You see, New York Public Library, 11 million. Keys, uh, that's in Ukraine, got 13 million. I don't know how many there, because Putin put a, he putting the work on their ass. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You know, but after bombing, there still should be some books left. You know what I'm saying? There still should be some motherfucking books left. Frankfurt, Germany's National Library, 18.5 million. St. Petersburg, Library of Russian Academy of Science, 20 million. Ottawa's National Library of Canada, 19 million. Massachusetts Harvard University Library, 13 million. So when you go in here, this is Ottawa's National Library of Canada. You see all them goddamn books? That's institution. Not one book. Ask them motherfuckers, where's y'all in where's your Hebrew institution? Show us the fucking books. Show us the literature. From that time, show us the mass numbers of scribes that duplicated that original book to make sure that it would stay on the planet. You ain't got it. You know why? You didn't have institution. You didn't. You see? You didn't have that. And so if you do not have the original and you don't have duplicates of the original, from the time that the original was created, you don't even know if it's valid. You don't even know if it's valid. 
You have no way to validate the literature. Nigga, I'm giving you the jewels. Man, get the fuck out of here. These niggas is done. There's no way for you could, to compete. Once you know this shit, there's no way for you to compete. There's no way for you to compete. You see the institution, just walk in there and look. You ain't got the mouth, no shit. You ain't got to explain to me shit. When a motherfucker say, out of why, motherfucker, show me the institution. Motherfucker, just open the door. Woo! The motherfucker look in there and see them motherfucking 19 million books. Oh, okay. There it is. I asked for the proof. There it is. <laughs> I don't need you to say shit. Motherfucking proof proves itself. Institution proves itself. Okay, here you go. New York Public Library. Prove your institution. Motherfucker opening the door. You see all them motherfucking books all the way. Okay. I see you. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you go in here. <laughs> motherfucking National <laughs> Library of Congress. 30 million books. God damn. You go in there and see all them motherfucking books. Okay. You know, that's how you prove it. You don't say, well, motherfucking Plato. I don't give a fuck what you said. Where are the books? From that time, show me the scrolls, motherfucker. If you studied in, where's the right? They don't even have no writings on their temples. They just blank motherfucking temples. You understand? No writing on the temples, no shit. You see? And so, family, I just had to do that because motherfuckers say the the the, the Greeks study with the ancient Egyptians. That just like in like I say, and and without proving. How can you study in an institutionalized nation and don't produce no institution? Man, I don't believe none of that shit. You niggas is dumb. You niggas is dumb. You niggas is dumb. I'm giving you the jewels, ma, and you can, you master this. Master it. This shit right here that I just master that shit and study it. And once you see it, you understand what I'm saying? This is what ancient Egypt gave the world. As you see, nations exist today. Ancient Egypt was the first modern nation, meaning even though it was ancient, just like nations exist today with institutions and governments and running like a mod, Egypt was the first modern nation that came, even and though it's ancient, it was the first structured modern nation with all the constructs of government and education that you see in a nation today. It is the only nation in the ancient world where you see the manifestation, overwhelming proof of institutionalized uh, institution. All other nations got myths, myths of institution, myths of institution, but they do not possess the facts of institution. And I want y'all to learn that shit. You see what I'm saying? I want y'all to learn that. Nah, put the pressure on any motherfucker out there. I heard motherfuckers, yes, they did. Okay, I didn't show y'all how to prove that. Okay, I didn't show y'all how to prove. And you know, let me let me blow that up so y'all can see this shit. I didn't even. You see right there. You see that's the Library of Congress. That's the uh, New York Public Library. You see how long the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? This is Ottawa. You see what I'm saying? You look in there and got all, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and once you master this right here, man, you could break the backs of 99.9% .9 of motherfuckers out there. You see what I'm saying? And that's why, you know, and so all the teachers are necessary. You know what I'm saying? Walter Williams is a beast. Motherfuckers can deal with it or don't deal with it. You know what I'm saying? He gave me, you know, a, 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 a view that I study because I study. I didn't just, you know what I'm saying? If I don't agree with a motherfucker, I don't agree with you. I say, man, it's a lot of motherfuckers is in trouble. You know what I'm saying? It's in trouble. The motherfuckers is in trouble. <laughs> he heard you know because well you know people didn't know you know they you know a lot of time and but that does not 
mean that he, because Dr. Ben is the master. He's the grand master. There's no doubt about it. You understand what I'm saying? Because Dr. Ben didn't prove to me much shit that I know is facts. You know what I'm saying? And I, I could go into that, you know, and Dr. Clark too. And so, yeah, you know, the scholars get into they, you know, they mouthing on each other. Ash Rock Quasi too, and, 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 and Mama Mary Rock Quasi. You cannot refruit uh, someone who has been going that long. But nevertheless, nevertheless, you know what I'm saying? Researching and academics is like a fighting game. It ain't no motherfucker you can just stand on your... You know, you might have whooped the motherfucker that yesterday, but today is a new day. And so when you bring your academics, you know, I look at it as it's it's a it's a, a, a you know, it's a martial art. It's an academic martial art for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't come to just stay. I come to battle. You know what I'm saying? I'm a battle scholar. I don't come to just lay on my shit. I come to prove it. So if a motherfucker don't want to do, you know, say my I'll come to fight my, my respect. You see what I'm saying? I don't, you know, if a motherfucker say something about me, I come and fight my respect. I don't have to just say and get mad because a motherfucker say something on me. I can come and fight my motherfucker. And I, I, you know, for me, it's a blessing that you feel that way so I can bust your ass up and prove to the world how I can crush a motherfucker. That, you know, think that I ain't on, on my square. You know what I'm saying? And so that's, I don't see. So when people get mad because a man say something, it might be something to that. Motherfucker might can't, my motherfucker might can't get up out that headlock straight up. You feel me? A motherfucker might can't get up out that headlock. You know what I'm saying? You know how you can how you can be playing with your one of your cousins or your, your, one of your man, and you put a motherfucker in the headlock and, and motherfucker get to, you know, hitting on like, motherfucker, let me loose, you know what I'm <laughs> Let me loose, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know? And so that's where I feel that you know, you know, that, you know, that's the way it go, you know, and I believe each one of them scholars would defend themselves when, uh, 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 what's her name? Mary left witch and shit. She went to talking shit about the, the black community. The scholar stepped up. She said that Dr. Clark, Dr. Ben and all of that was, you know, they was making shit up and they stepped up and defended themselves and crushed her. <laughs> crushed her. You know what I'm saying? They didn't just say, oh, this bitch. No, they stepped up there and, and, and crushed her. And so when we stopped thinking that, you know, I don't, I, yes, I, I didn't done things. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, you know, but I, you know, like I said, you know, this academic thing, because knowledge is ever evolving knowledge is uh, infinite you see what i'm saying and and though there is you know it there is some knowledge that you know you know 300 the sun re, you know the earth revolves around the sun is you even have to debate that you know what i'm saying there's no knowledge that won't be debated and so when we begin to see that knowledge is a martial art that's the way I look at it. It's an academic martial arts where they have to be fought out all the time and proven. And so I, like I say, I don't get mad at, you know, when people say, you know, and I, you know, cause I, I train, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, you know, and like I, you know, and I, and I'm not just, you know, no, no, I train on pressure points. You see what I'm saying? I know, just like a, a true martial art, they study the pressure points in your body. You understand what I'm saying? They ain't gonna just attack anywhere. They're gonna attack the motherfucking pressure point. And a motherfucker can just touch one. And your motherfucking ass is gonna go to your knees because the shit put you in anguish. You see what I'm saying? So when I deal with academics, 
I go down the spine of what you believe in or that subject. And I, and I, I locate all of the pressure points and I bust your ass up. You understand what I'm saying to where you, you it's nothing really that you could do because you're going to be so much into healing and in, 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 into repairing yourself. If you can, that there will be no, you know, no, you know, way you could really attack me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm in certain debates. You know, I, I, you know, a lot of times I give a motherfucker, you know, a show, you know what I'm saying? But when I want to crush a motherfucker and shit, and a lot of times I don't play my whole hand. You see what I'm saying? Y'all motherfucker think I come out there. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. Cause I know sometimes motherfucker thinking I'm going to play my whole hand so that then they could study what I'm trying to put out there. So they can, you know, and so I keep some shit always to myself. You know what I'm saying? That when, you know, but I give enough where the family is going to be awake and I give enough where I could crush. You understand what I'm saying? But just in case a motherfucker want to play with me or toy with me, there's hundreds of other pressure points that I could touch on that'll bring you to your knees. And so when we think about Walter Williams and, I think maybe he just came with a, 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 a martial arts mentality and, you know, he called, you know, he called people's out, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know, even though, you know, I, you know, I personally, you know, respect him for, you know, for some, some critical information that he put out, I still studied under other master teachers and I know without no doubt that they are just as critical, if not more critical you understand what I'm saying? Then, you know, other scholars, you know, it's a, it's a level to this shit. And without Dr. Ben, then you have nobody, you know what I'm saying? And so you can't say you come from before, you know, Thanos and, you know, you know, you can't come for Thanos. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 uh, Dr. Ben had all the goddamn gems and shit. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And I'm just going to be real about that. You know what I'm saying? He the one brought it. Now, whatever, you know, you come afterwards and, you know, that's cool. We still respect that. But you got to lay the first level of the pyramid. And so Dr. Ben laid that first level and it cannot be undone. And I know that for a fact. And, and all the other teachers too, Chancellor, uh, 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 George G.M. James, uh, and again, the other scholars, you know, I respect Ashra greatly. You know what I'm saying? I respect him greatly, but we got to, you know, we got, we can't just say something without, you know, backing it up and critically backing it up. And like I say, when it comes to the Medunetta, I am willing to bring forth all the research, all the scholars that were involved in it. You know what I'm saying? And I know for a fact, which most people who really didn't done research in the Medunetta, it's the Germans that had the heaviest hand in producing what today is called the Medunetta. It was the Germans. You see what I'm saying? The Jews. You see what I'm saying? You got to talk about the Rothschild. Now, y'all know I'm going to be dropping that tomorrow. I'm going to show y'all. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, they were the ones that funded. You know, the, you know when you talk about Adolf Ehrman, and uh, Adolf Ehrman and Grap Pile and, and, and even Gardner. St you know, Gardner studied under uh, Adolf Ehrman. He went to Germany. A lot of people talk about Gardner. Who, Gardner went to Germany. He studied in, in Berlin. He studied under Kurt Seth, which was a student of Adolf Ehrman. Okay, all them motherfuckers went to Germany. They got their degrees in Germany. America didn't even have a fucking uh, uh, a department head. When you're talking about uh, uh, what you call a, a, a chair, when you call somebody to say that's a chair of a department, the first chair of Egyptology in America, what was his name? I got it right here. I'm ready for tomorrow. 
Right there. Henry Breasted. James Henry Breasted was the first chair. What does a chair mean? You giving out degrees. So the first chair in Egyptology in America was J James Henry Breasted. Where did he get his education at? He got his age, education in Berlin under Adolf Ehrman, the Jew, the German. Okay. Who funded? And, and he, he started the uh, Institute, uh, uh, Oriental Institute in Chicago, James Henry Breasted. Who funded that? Huh? John Davidson Rockefeller. Niggas don't talk about that. You want to talk about the beast. You want to say we fighting the beast. But then when it comes to your Egyptology and you see all of these motherfucking the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds and shit, even the Rothschilds was funding Egyptology, the digs and shit. You see what I'm saying? And so all the students, all the major linguists of what y'all niggas call Medunetta, Come out of Berlin, Germany. Facts. Facts. So the only way I hear niggas out there saying that the Medunetta is correct. And so the only way that you can say that is to verify what these Cro-Magnum Neanderthals put together in a citadels of academic torture on black people. That's the only way you can do it. Y'all niggas at the crossroads. Y'all at the crossroads, man. Y'all is at the crossroads. And it hurt to go down that, that long and receive this information. And it, it, maybe it's too hard to turn back. It's, it might be too hard to turn back. And so ain't no motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what they say. You see what I'm saying? This is the book. They, this is the, uh, the dictionary right here. This is the dictionary, the largest dictionary and all the words, majority of the words and shit that's in the so-called motherfucker, uh, 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 Medunetta. And I ain't going to get it. Cause I got, that's going all going to be tomorrow. You got to get on my Patreon and I'm going to run this shit down on you. And I didn't done it many, many times before I did it. in this one, how Germans and Jews created modern, modern history and Egyptology. I did it with the false teachings and I'm going to go in so in depth that I guarantee you when you come out of that, that class, you could go down the spine because they really don't say shit to me. They don't say shit to me. I'm going to give y'all one more jewel and I'm going to get up out of here. Cause you see that cat right there in the middle. Let me blow that up. That's Richard. That's Carl Richard Lipsis. He the one that that was Adolf Ehrman's teacher, but he was the one that was most responsible after Champollion that put the Madunetta together. Let me see right here. Okay. This right here in 1842 Lipsis was commissioned at the re recommendation of the Minister of Instruction, Johann uh, Eichhorn, and the scientist Alexander von Humboldt and Christian Charles Hoseas Bunsen by King Frederick Wilhelm, the, the whatever, the, the, the sixth of Prussia, to lead an expedition to Egypt and Sudan to explore the. Uh, 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 and it record the remains of the ancient Egyptian civilization. The Prussian, it was Prussia at that time. It wasn't even Germany. Ex expedition was modeled after earlier um, a neo a neo uh, Napoleonic mission with surveyors, scientists, and so on and so forth. Okay, after the death of Champollion, Lipsis made a systematic study of the French scholars of uh, Grammar of Egypt, which had been published po uh, post uh, humanly, that means he was dead in 1836. 
but had yet to be widely accepted. So even at the time that goddamn Champollion had died, that shit wasn't even being published. It wasn't even accepted, really. You see what I'm saying? So it was a uh, uh, ellipsis. And now, nah, down here, I want y'all to, where is that shit at? Wait a minute. Where that one at? I'm on. I'm gonna show motherfucker where he say it's not a translation. Where is that shit at? It might be up here. Let me see. I got so much shit right there at the bottom. Listen, as the phonetic realization of Egyptian cannot be known with certainty, Egyptologists use a system of transliteration to denote each sound that could be re represented by a unilateral hieroglyph. The phonetic realization of, e of Egyptian cannot be known with it can't be known at all god damn it you can't know it at all you if you ain't hear it and nobody recorded at the time of ancient e and recorded and recorded the sound of it and this that and the third is no way you see what i'm saying so when they even though you even the const consonants is fake you can't and i'm gonna show you that i'm gonna show you that shit is fake you see what I'm saying? And so again, I tell you that it's a trend because a motherfucker asked me about the transliteration. It's only to be written K M T. Now this is scientific fact based on the rules of the so-called Egyptian hieroglyphs. I don't hear niggas say, but you know what niggas going to do? They going to niggerize because I brought facts based on science and university teachings. You know, niggas going, they going to niggify the Cro-Magnum shit and say, yes, you can. Yes, you, you know what I'm saying? That's what, that's all they could do. Take his shit because they didn't do it the way he did it. You see what I'm saying? You know, they took his shit and niggified it, added vowels. And so now you hear the term Kemet. Okay. It's KMT and it's written. You see what I'm saying? Now, you add a, to get his shit life, in, in essence, you legitimize the shit. You legitimize the shit. But again, like I said, because it is a transliteration and because the phonetics of it cannot be because you never heard an ancient Egyptian speak. You see what I'm saying? And so the thing is, when you add vowels to it, Whatever language you add or you take them vowels from, that's the language you speak in. If you take KMT and you add French vowels to it, when you speak it, you know what you're speaking? You're speaking French. You're not speaking ancient. If you add German vowels to it and you speak it, you see, what you're speaking is German. And so that's the reason why you cannot add vowel because if you add vowels, you will have thousands of pronunciations for one fucking word. Do you understand me? Okay? Don't let niggas tell you that you can add African vowels or you can go to Sudan. Or, because what you have to understand that the Meduneta, the glyphs, are a secret symbolisms that are only the meanings are only given to the students that are initiated into the mystery system. So you only get that based on your proficiency. As you go through the various degrees, you are granted the, the definitions and the meanings of more and more symbols. But unless you go through the mystery system to get that education, you will never know it. So it's, you cannot apply even an African language to the symbols. 
You can't even do that. So when motherfuckers say it's Sudanese, it knew that means that they don't truly understand what we're dealing with here. You understand what I'm saying? It showed me when motherfuckers say that, and you know, and I, I ain't talking about the brother in the beginning because you know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about, I'm talking about motherfuckers who swear that they know what they teach. Okay. And so family, I'm out of here, man. <coughs> I'm out of here, man. And I know it hurt, but what it does is it, a lot of people say, how can you understand? You understand? Like that is the only, like, goddamn, if you don't do it the way Champagnon do it, you will never know your ancestors. Ain't that sad? You hear me? If you don't do it the way Champagnon, Adolf Ehrman, and Carl, Richard Carl Lipses tell you to do it, then you won't. <laughs> that's cause they didn't put so much in that shit that they cannot turn back man all right family let me get on up out of here man listen y'all i'm uploading i'll be uploading a lot of uh you know videos and shit <laughs> and listen if y'all see a 10 minute or a 15 minute that's what it's meant to be you know what i'm saying that's what it's meant to be family i'm putting it ain't that they cut me off or nothing. That's what I'm doing, family. I got I, I got some, you know, where I believe is, you know, it's a it's a particular uh teaching that's about 10 feet where it stick particularly to that subject, and that's what I'm putting up. So family, stay with me out there. The general and get on my Patreon. We got the link to the uh lecture coming up on the temp, which is gonna be high powered. This is the general Sarah soon said he's saying, hey, arm yourself with knowledge. Bang on that wicked ass beast daily liberation through African education and confrontation. Black power.